Robinson's Galleria, also known as Robinson's Galleria Ortigas, is a mixed-use complex and shopping mall located at EDSA Corner Ortigas Avenue, Quezon City just near SM Megamall. The mall is owned by Robinson's Malls, and it is their flagship mall. It was built in 1990 with a total gross floor area of approximately 216,000 square meters, 2,330,000 square feet. The mall Robinson's Galleria is a five-level shopping mall and a landmark along EDSA and Ortigas Avenue with more than 400 shops, dining outlets, entertainment facilities and service centers. It is located within a mixed-use complex composed of two high-rise office towers, the Galleria Corporate Center and Robinson's Equitable Tower. Three hotels are also located among the said towers, the Holiday Inn Manila Galleria and Crown Plaza Manila Galleria, and the Galleria Regency. It is also located right next to the historic EDSA Shrine. History The mall's location was once an open land owned by the SSS at Ortigas Central Business District. In February 1986, the portion of the land facing EDSA was where participants in the People Power Revolution also protested. Tanks going north to Camp Aguinaldo and Camp Crane were stopped at this spot. In 1987, John Gokongway bought the large portion of the land from the SSS, while the Archdiocese of Manila had partly purchased the portion of the land near the intersection. This plot today is the site of EDSA Shrine, which belongs to the Archdiocese. Construction began in mid-1988 and finished in late 1989. The mall opened in 1990 being the first mall of Robinson's Malls. Since its opening, several renovations had made within the mall, expanding its area to 216,000 square meters. Incidents March 2012 robbery In March 29, 2012, one security guard was killed while six others wounded after two armed robbers lobbed a couple of grenades while fleeing with their loot. The Philippine National Police Spokesman Chief Superintendent Agramiro Cruz Jr. said that by 10.15 a.m., two unidentified suspects in disguise as a security guard, attacked two bank guards who were escorting bank tellers and was supposed to deliver an undetermined amount of money in a money changer shop at the mall's ground floor. October 2013 Fire in October 29, 2013 a fire broke out inside the department store's toy section. The cause started at around 11 p.m. when the employees who were decorating Christmas lights inside the mall rushed out the mall to flee the premises. Guests from the Holiday Inn evacuated and moved to the adjacent Crown Plaza Hotel. The fire raged for about six hours. The went under control the next morning and the mall was closed for two days. The mall soon reopened at by the noon of November 1, 2013. Redevelopment The mall had gone for several renovations since it opened in 1990. In 2012, the mall took its major facelift with additional GLA of around 100,000 square meters that can cater at least 50 tenants. The said developments expanded the mall. SGLA to what is now 216,000 square meters, the latest redevelopment had started in 2016. It will be done in two phases with its first phase of renovation from May to October 2016 while the second phase was to start in May 2017. Aside from the major renovations within the mall, the mall veranda will host more service stores related to health and beauty. There will be an upper veranda at the third floor, formerly occupying the sports loop, which will accommodate more dining choices. The mall's renovation is almost complete. The mall's renovation will add wooden elements into the mall, a design similar to Robinson's Galleria Cebu. Urban legend there was an urban legend in the 1980s about a half-snake, half-human creature that resided in the basement of the mall. It was claimed as a lucky charm installed by the Gokongwe family. The story claimed that Filipino actresses Alice Dixon and Rita Avila were among the victims of the creature. 
Based on the story Dixon survived while Avila died and the one who appears today on television is purportedly a look-alike. Many female shoppers avoided its department store during that time. Although the rumor is now considered absurd and dead, it revived in 2010 after a supposed YouTube video depicting it. Gallery References <laughs>